Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a Lego speed build, but that's exactly what I'll be doing in this one. We'll be looking at the Legoland Forestman's Hideout number 6054. This was released in 1988. It consists of 194 parts and two minifigures. So it should be quite a quick build, but it's a, a real nice set. We'll have a look at the box. We'll have a look at the manual. I'll do the speed build and then we'll review it at the end. So having a look at the box, it's in really good condition very good condition i'd suggest the first thing i will point out is that this is actually the um, american version i think there's a very slight difference between that and the uk version in that it says castle system here and the uk version doesn't have that and it has some extra imagery on the ends rather than being blank compared to the the uk one and it also has this bit here that says build uh, the exciting models so there's those slight differences and it's also a little bit thinner um, other than that you would be hard pressed to um, to spot the difference unless you knew what you were looking for the box is in very good condition as you can see colors are nice and bright uh, there's no major rips or tears so that's all really good. Um, what you've also got is a Toys R Us sticker. Always nice when you have something like that, especially with something that's gone out of business. And that again is another very subtle sign about where this has come from, because if I zoom in there, you can just see the dollar sign. When this originally came out in 1988, it was 12.99. But yeah, a very good condition box. And with that, you have the inner tray. Again, slightly narrower than the UK one. Again, in very good condition. It's hard to find this. It's weird, this small set, it's hard to find them. Uh, uh, especially the boxes in good condition moving on to the manual uh, 6054 very much just the same imagery that's on the box it's in um, good condition it's got a light uh, fold line just down the center there and it's just had a little crease on a corner fold at some point it's a smallish manual so you've got the the beginning part there build the base just to kind of build it all up it's a it's a folding out uh yeah it's a folding out design so you kind of just build the two parts up and then it's one of those ones that really just comes together all at the end when you put all the trees on and, the, and you add the minifigures and the bits but uh, i'd say that's you know at least good condition um with, with only that, those mild bits and bobs so that's the box and the uh the manual uh, covered now these bits have all been checked against the parts list online it's all complete uh, the only thing that isn't included is when you get your um your feathers for the, the minifigures so these ones as you can see on the box and the manual they uh, require these ones as part of the set now if you remember you get the um the wheels that have um three different types of yellow and three to three different types of the white ones so you have the the other two types of plumes basically uh, this just comes with the two that you require it doesn't have the plume wheel or the extra two that would kind of just be thrown away back in the day or, or put to one side that's that's the only thing that isn't included and no kind of extra parts so you've basically just got here what you need to build the set with uh, uh, that you see here so with all that said um, let's crack on with the speed build
And there we go, that's the uh, that's the speed build complete. It took me around half an hour to complete. And you know, as with the speed build, you're you're going as quickly as you can. Not you know, obviously I'm speeding it up with uh, in editing, but I'm also going as quickly as I can, trying to look up uh, a piece ahead as I go. So one thing I found was I got to near the end, and it was supposed to be two uh, single blocks on the top, but rather than a single block left, I had one of these now. I'd already checked and I know I've got all the correct amount of parts. So what I've probably done is when, as I've been building at some point, I've probably uh, misread this as a, as a block and I've put it, um, I've put the block in instead of putting these in. But, you know, rather than strip the whole thing down, and, uh, down again and work out where it is, all I'll simply do is when I list this for sale, I'll just include that extra block and it'll be a leftover when someone builds it correctly. But it, it allows me to know now that the model has been completely built in accordance with the manual. And that's why I do these checks. And it, it also allows me to find anything that might be broken uh, that, that gets missed during a, an item check as well. So that's the build complete. And so let's take a look at it. Um, I'm... I'm a sucker for these ones. I had um, these as a kid, um, and some of the other, uh, the other like the Lego ones, some of the space ones. So like that, the 80s into 90s, and I, I, I really like them. So this is a small one that would go as part of the um, the other Forest Men ones. I found the Forest Men the Forest Men um, sets were all a little bit smaller. The one with like the you know the the, the cave and stuff inside. Um, but what you've got here is this really lovely detailed tree plenty of um uh, like foliage and stuff around it and you can see from the front it, it's just a really adorable nice small set and what's nice is when it's closed we'll just bring the light on you've got it's got a really nice 3d image all the way around so it's like a really nice enclosed uh, tree and when you've basically when it's closed up you've got the small um kind of hidey hole little entrance just into into the base you can see there uh you've got some uh, expare weapons on the side with the spears you can also lift up here and and put one of your minifigures inside uh and then obviously you can close that down again and you've got him swinging around this one down here um uh, doing some archery practice with his with his target down there but then what's really nice is with a lot of these ones, a lot of the smaller hinged ones is when you open it up, it gives a real nice, again, um, front uh, profile, just the way it all slots together. Um, so if I just bring that up to the camera again, so you can see from, from here, a really nice 3D tree. But then the way that just slots together nicely and gives that, that, uh, that length, so you've got your hidey hole there, etc. And then obviously when you turn it around now, you've really just got the, um, you know, a couple of little access parts here. There's not much room. You can stand a minifig in there, a minifig in there with the, with the spare sword. So there's a few port parts you could probably put, put them around. Um, not too much, or you can kind of semi-build it like, like this at an angle or how, however you want, obviously. But just a really nice, quick, simple build, uh, 1988. Um, 194 parts, the two um, minifigures, um, yeah, just a real nice set. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at this. If you did, please uh, click the like button, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. It really helps me grow my channel. Um, and until the next one, all the best, take care and see you.